Welcome to the Cisco IP Telephony or CIPT CBT Nuggets video series. My name is Jeremy Chara and I can't tell you how excited I am to get going into this series and create this series because since I've been teaching with CBT Nuggets I would say the number one requested title has been this Cisco IP Telephony or essentially Cisco Call Manager. I get an email, I would say, once once every couple weeks from somebody just saying, hey, are, have you started work on the call manager title yet? Just because it's one of those products that just, there's a lot of demand for, it's everywhere, and it's being deployed by contract agencies and, and uh, different vendors that pretty much implement it and then run away and you never hear from them again. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk more on that a little bit later. But essentially, that leaves a lot of people in the position where they go, okay, We've got this new phenomenal Cisco voice over IP system, and uh, I don't know how to do anything with it. It's supposed to do all these things, but I don't, I don't know how to do that. So that's what this Cisco Call Manager or CIPT series is all about. Working with the Cisco Call Manager system, essentially the core of a Cisco voice solution, and configuring it, optimizing it, managing it in the best possible way. So without teaching an entire uh, video on just one slide let me talk about what this opening video is all about number one I'm gonna talk about Cisco unified communications taking over the world one network at a time and I'll, I'll talk about what Cisco's strategy is with voice over IP and with unified communications if you've looked at their website lately everything has become unified so we'll talk about that second we'll look at what is the Cisco unified call manager or what what role does it play in the network what does it do and then we'll look at what I would call call manager version madness I say that because Cisco has come out with call manager versions faster than any software product I think I've ever seen in my life and it's not just well We'll, we'll talk about it. There's three different trains of version numbers that are being maintained, and we'll talk about what those are and what they're all about. Finally, we'll look at the components that make Call Manager tick. What's inside of this? What software, what hardware makes it run? One last thing I want to mention before we get started. The other reason why this title, CIPT, is so near and dear to my heart is because I had the opportunity to write the book on it in many different ways. I actually was contacted by Cisco in the Call Manager 3.x versions, primarily 3.3, to help them write some technical documentation for it and, and uh, update a couple of their training materials on Call Manager 3.3 uh, versions. And from that, bled a contract with Cisco Press to create the Cisco Call Manager 4.x version uh, self-study guide, CIPT, to help people uh, both install, manage, and use Call Manager. And if they're preparing for the certification exam, that's the official study guide to uh, prepare for the certification exam. And I've gotten so much good feedback on this book, um, I wanted to actually model this video series after it. So if you are looking for a great book to use and something to reference as we go through, grab this. Just go to Amazon.com and enter my name. It's Jeremy Chara. Um, I, I say that because if you type Call Manager, you'll get all kinds of different things, but I've only written one Call Manager book. Uh, so if you grab this book, you'll have a great reference to go through as we are uh, working through the series, and the series is modeled after this book. With that in place, let's get started. Cisco Unified Communications is a company strategy, meaning it is an umbrella strategy that Cisco is moving towards to unify every aspect of your network under one massive Cisco infrastructure. That's why I have a, a nice picture of the Borg, only the best enemy in every Star Trek episode, uh, where everybody is assimilated into one collective hive, the consciousness, uh, where um, all of your devices in your network are going to be essentially managed by this solid infrastructure that Cisco created. Now, don't get me wrong. Cisco is not saying, you know, everything will be Cisco. You will, you know, get Cisco logos tattooed on your chest. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's not something where they're looking to uh, take over the world, but it is something that they are going to offer products that meet the need for every aspect of your network. Now, you see in this list, data, voice, and video. Uh, data is primarily everything but 
this CCVP certification track, meaning security, meaning network infrastructure, routing and switching, all of those pieces that tie together, in this world, we are going to be primarily focused on voice with a side note of video. Cisco Call Manager does support video over IP streaming, and when you call somebody, you can see them and, and talk to them over a, a video stream. So we'll talk a little bit about that um, as we continue throughout this series. So in the world of voice, and that is the focus of CIPT, Cisco Unified Communications represents a massive suite of, suite of products designed to replace legacy PBX equipment. And now we can say that, legacy PBX equipment. This is the equipment of yesteryear that is being moved out. And I would say the number one student that I've had in Cisco Call Manager classes is PBX people that are migrating their skills from the PBX world into the voice over IP world massive learning curve uh, when you're when you're doing that but that is the way everything is going PBX's will eventually be antiquated so Cisco designed this in a layered approach kind of like well not at all like <laughs> I was gonna say kind of like the OSI model in that it has layers but everything else is different they created it in an approach unlike PBX's where anything could work with anything this is one of the major advantages of moving to voice over IP. In the PBX world, if you bought a PBX, <laughs> this actually is a good representation of it. A giant box that just everything plugs into. And let's say you bought a uh, Lucent PBX. If you did that, you would have to buy Lucent line cards, which are uh, what connects to the end phones. You would have to buy Lucent trunk cards, which would plug into that PBX and give you your T1 to the uh, PSTN, the Public Switch Telephone Network, to receive incoming and send outgoing calls to the rest of the world. You would have to buy Lucent phones. You're getting the idea here. Everything has to be Lucent because the PBX world is very heavily proprietary. Even connecting multiple PBXs, like if I had an office that ran a, P a Lucent PBX and they wanted to c connect to uh, some other office that ran you know, some mystery vendor's PBX, there's a lot involved with that because everybody's got their own proprietary languages and protocols and uh, there were some industry standard PBX protocols that came out, but by far, and by far and large, to really get the benefits of PBXs, you have to have the same vendor everywhere. Not so in the voice over IP world. Or I should say, we are moving to a model that is not so in the voice over IP world. Uh, in this world, you have your clients, and you can think of it as a layer. And inside of that layer, you have your phones. You have your uh, PCs with software-based phones running on, uh, on them. You have video cameras. You have... Um, laptops, all kinds of different client devices that could be running Cisco clients. For example, you could be using a Cisco